Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another Supercell swag unboxing on my channel. And after two months of waiting, we finally got the Clash figurines in that I ordered way back when. Now, I did order a couple of other things. You guys might have remembered that I got my P.E.K.K.A. in the mail, as well as the Silver P.E.K.K.A., some Baby Dragon plushies. But really, the one thing I was waiting for was the Clash figurines that were on, I guess, back order until May, or they hadn't actually been made yet uh, because I did order them the first day the shop was live and they finally came in today i just opened them up and i want to show them to you guys right now and i actually have an extra set of them that supercell said i could give out to you guys so let's go ahead and check them out first they ended up sending me six different characters from the game so let's go ahead and check out character number one actually i'm going to start with one that's my least favorite i think these are actually super high quality but number one is going to be the wizard in red they actually sent two wizards for some reason but they are different colors he looks pretty evil and he's making a, a weird motion that i won't try to describe uh number two is the barbarian actually i can't they, all of these look pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie i don't know if my webcam does them justice but these are like super high quality it's actually a hundred dollars for the six of these uh you know you could either have fourteen thousand gems or a class or a pack of figurines seeing as supercell steals my super magical chests, i thought i would go ahead and get these instead we've got the prince next solid five elixir cards by the way getting a lot of bias that's four straight five elixir cards with another wizard this one looks really cool actually i like the blue one a lot uh another pekka just in case you hadn't had enough pekka action the pekka looks like a beast i have to find out exactly where i'm going to put these and number six is the archer so check out the archer right here looking like bay holding back her bow and all of them in a line are going to be right down here on the ground check them out read them and weep all six of the figurines pretty cool stuff and like i said supercell reached out to me when they shipped out this order and they're like hey do you want to give out an order to your subscribers and i was like uh yeah that would be an awesome idea. So Supercell said I could give out one pack away to you guys. All you have to do if you want to uh, enter to win the pack of Clash figurines is click the link in the description below or enter it. It's on your screen right now. Uh, pretty much you can enter just by being subscribed to my channel, following me on Twitter, following me on Instagram. Just a way to give back to you guys for being awesome subscribers and fans. And uh, that's basically it. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, do whatever to get your bonus entries. And all you have to do is do that. I'll pick a winner on Sunday, uh, but unfortunately you do have to be from the USA or Canada. That's the one thing Supercell said. It's my, not my decision. Supercell said, hey, we can ship out an order of these to someone in the United States or Canada. So unfortunately, if you guys aren't from those two countries, uh, you can't end up winning. I'll try to host something for you guys later, but that is going to do it for this giveaway. Best of luck. And in honor of playing with these uh, figurines right here, let's go ahead and throw them inside of a deck. I actually made a deck using all six of these cards. I've got the wizard, the ice wizard, since we had two wizards, uh, the P.E.K.K.A., the barbarian, archers, as well as the prince. And then, of course, I threw in the poison spell and the night witch because I needed some OP cards to go along with this really, really basic deck. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into a challenge right now. See if we can pick up some wins using these figurines. And uh, let's go and see if we can pick up some victories. Yeah. So here we go. With a little bit of help from my lucky figurines, hopefully we can find a way to win with this really ridiculous deck. I'm going to start with the P.E.K.K.A. He's going to play some minions. Pretty solid start to the game. Unfortunately, there's no Night Witch uh, statue. That would have been sort of nice. But instead, these minions are going to float to their death. And already, we've got a pretty amazing start to this game. And it really has just begun. Now, the offensive options inside of this deck are sort of what I'm most worried about. We don't have a lot of options to try to actually get places that that poison spell is going to be perfect it's going to lock onto the musketeer right when we want it to looks like he's going to play his own pekka which is going to swat my night witch in the mouth and uh, meanwhile the bats are floating down the lane he does have a zap spell but look at the bats still locking onto the tower not a terrible first start and first push and that's going to be 700 hp off his tower all right so that was a good old pekka doing us right right there so we'll put the pekka in the winner's circle i'm going to start with the, my ice ice wizard which is a card i haven't played in an eternity and as that Ice Wizard gets ready, he hasn't actually played anything yet. He's going to play a Graveyard. Really interesting play. Ice Wizard actually doesn't one-shot Skeletons at even level, which is going to be a little bit disappointing. But I'm going to get ready with my P.E.K.K.A. nonetheless. Hopefully this can hold out for my Ice Wizard to run down the lane in a moment. But huh, let's see how we can do this. I'm going to play the Night Witch right now. And unless he has a great counter, this should look pretty amazing for us. Check the P.E.K.K.A. running down the lane. The bats are in a super good spot, too. Look at the one bat onto the tower right there. That's going to be an awesome start. And the wizard is about to back up this push like no other. Blue wizard doing work right now. GG well played to that tower. And the P.E.K.K.A. and bats are still crushing it down the lane. And this has been a perfect start to the first battle. I think he might have actually given up because the P.E.K.K.A. is onto the tower right now. One more hit from the P.E.K.K.A. One more hit from the P.E.K.K.A. is going to be GG. And somehow this deck worked. We have the uh i guess we used three actually we used four of the cards we didn't use the prince of the barbarians so these ended up being the most worthless figurines 
Uh, but anyway, so let's go and get into battle number two. Nice start right there using the super basic deck. Again, all six of these cards, I feel like you unlock in the very beginning of the game, except for the P.E.K.K.A. You unlock maybe in like 1100 trophies or something like that. So this is uh, definitely no graveyards, no legendaries, I guess, except for the Night Witch because I'm a dirty Night Witch abuser. Uh, but besides that, pretty nice little start to this game. And uh, I'm going to set up with a wizard down this left hand side. We got to deal with this Dark Goblin. Don't want this Dark Goblin doing anything crazy. I was playing the wizard just in case he tried to back up his push. He's going to end up playing his goblin gang, which is going to get crushed by the wizard. They end up going one-on-one. -on -one. So there goes the wizard against the goblins. There goes the wizards against the spear goblins. And check this out on the other side. We're going to use the prince to run down the lane. Maybe we can hit the tower. I'm not really sure, though. Okay, we'll hit the Valkyrie. This should be an even elixir trade. Actually, the prince is going to sprint to the tower. Please, prince. Please. Oh, so close to running into the tower. That would have been perfect. Uh, but instead, we're going to go ahead and get ready with our P.E.K.K.A. this time and finally get our push grooving. So that was the first play of the P.E.K.K.A. I guess the only card we haven't played so far are the Barbarians, which is the staple of Clash in general. Uh, whether it's Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, Barbarians have always been the staple. And as the Golem goes down the left-hand lane, I'm going to finally have an opportunity to use these Barbarians. So don't you worry about that. Let's get ready to cook on this other side of the map. The P.E.K.K.A. has gone in. Pekka's going to cross the bridge. Perfect time to play our archers. I've got the Ice Wizard as well. He's got a Dark Goblin. That's not going to work perfectly. Barbarians have finally gone down. Barbarians have entered the battlefield. Meanwhile, the Pekka's and the archers on the other side are doing work. Pekka still has a little bit of HP. Look at the Pekka lock onto the tower. Pekka proving to be the best card inside of these figurines so far. And that's going to be tower number one going down in our favor. And I guess I have to drop a Witch, even though I don't want to, on this other side of the map. As he plays his Valkyrie. And a perfect start to the game right now. In fact, I'm going to go for a Night Witch on the other side of the map. Let's go crazy. Let's see if we can catch him a little bit low on Elixir. Uh, that Dark Goblin's going to actually do really good work, though, as the Wizard locks on to the tower instead of going for the Dark Goblin. Interesting choice right there. Dark Goblin's going to keep running down the lane. It should do one more hit. And uh, now we can set up with our P.E.K.K.A., and it's going to be a P.E.K.K.A. on Golem Push, I feel like. He's probably going to play... Actually, he's going to play his Goblin Gang first. So let's deal with that. It's going to be a 3 Elixir for 3 Elixir trade. Not too shabby at all. And uh, let's get ready. There's the golem I was talking about. We, everyone knew the golem was coming out. No need to try to hide it. We'll get our ice golem down right now. We've got our wizard ready momentarily. Oh, he's going to play his lightning spell now. I feel like that was a little bit too early. So now we'll play our night witch and our wizard. Looks like this is going to be pretty solid. Barbarians are going to go down. Let's crush this dark goblin right here. 400 HP is all that's left over there which is going to be tough for him to hold on to. Prince is going to go down. Check out all the units I have running down the lane. Prince is going to go down. Pekka and Night Witch still have a solid amount of HP. Pekka is going to get one hit onto the tower, which is all we really needed. Night Witch is going into the tower. The 485 HP. I don't think that's within lightning spell range. So unless he gets some damage, the Ice Wizard is going to shore that up. That should basically be the end of it. GG well played against Joe and another victory using our cards. The Barbarians, they came through right there. We ended up playing them twice and they picked up some victories. Very nicely done. And uh, let's go ahead and get into battle number three right now and see if we can pick up one more win. Again, if you guys want to win these figurines, click the link in the description below. One of you lucky guys out of 2.5 million, which I just ended up hitting today, by the way, two and a half million subscribers, which is crazy. Uh, I can't thank each and every one of you. So this is a cool little way to get back. And one of you will actually end up taking home some figurines of your own. One more battle. Let's face Rocket Boys, where the Inferno Tower is going to be the first play. Interesting. Um, I don't really have anything against the Inferno Tower, to be honest. I've got my Barbarians, which I can play in front of my P.E.K.K.A., which is just a crazy, crazy, crazy maneuver. But he's going to play his Wizard, which is just going to crush absolutely crush our push the peck is going to get locked onto anyways feels bad man and this push is going to turn into absolutely nothing now this guy's probably playing graveyard uh if he is playing graveyard this is going to be a tough battle oh no please don't do it don't do it to me tower's going to lock onto the bowler here goes the night witch he didn't play the graveyard interesting so i guess he might not have it well overall start of the game has been just fine log's going to hit our tower for a little bit of damage in the end, we're basically even, and here comes the Royal Giant. Okay, so he's playing the Royal GG. How do we want to deal with this? I've got a Prince, which I can play. This is going to charge and do some good work on the Royal Giant. I've got the Wizard, too. So Wizard's going to do good if he plays anything that can get splashed. Prince eventually will lock onto this Royal GG right here. And as we play our Archers, we're gearing up for a huge play. Now, Archers are going to get... One of them is going to get in front of the Prince. Here's the Tornado I was a little bit worried about. Eventually, a Valkyrie's going to go in. Uh, Valkyrie's gonna end up killing that man. 
he's got such a strong tornado deck that this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough cookie to crack um yeah we're gonna have to hold on the best we can but this is gonna be tough against all these moves we don't have very good direct damage we don't have a zap if we had like a zap or a lightning instead of our poison we'd be perfect against that inferno tower especially as we build up our elixir lead uh, but instead this is going to be much more difficult than we would have wanted so let's go ahead and get our pekka ready right now and we're probably going to see an inferno tower in a moment so there's the inferno i try to get a push going ice ice wizard will lock on and let the pekka get one hit onto the bowler but that's really going to be it and instead of anything crazy happening we're going to get ready with our poison spell in just a second. Let's start poisoning this down right here because we need the prince to do work. We need the archers to do work. We need stuff to start killing this royal GG right here. It's only going to get two hits, which is nice, but uh, still. This is definitely a rough start to the game. Wizard's going to end up dying in a moment. But now that we're in double elixir, this might be our one chance to try to get this royal GG chopped down by the P.E.K.K.A. and then inevitably play something in front of it. Here goes the wizard right now. Here goes the P.E.K.K.A. right now. Okay, that bowler's about to crush right there. Wait, did the P.E.K.K.A. get knocked back by the bowler? No, it didn't. Okay. I guess we'll play the poison spell right now. And again, the P.E.K.K.A. is just going to be stopped in its tracks by this dirty Inferno Tower. One hit from the P.E.K.K.A., please. Okay, at least that Inferno Tower will be out of the way. Here goes the Royal Giant again, so we're going to have to play our Barbarians. And Barbarians simply are going to get smacked around by the bowler and the uh, wizard. I don't really know what we can do right now. Except for go crazy on the other side of the map. Maybe that'll work for us. Let's go ahead and try. This is going to be our one shot, one opportunity. If you could have anything you ever wanted, we'd capture it or let it slip. And there goes the Valkyrie. Let's go ahead and kill that Valkyrie as soon as possible. Let's kill the Let's do the poison spell too. Poison spell, please. Prince is going to lock onto the tower. Wizard's onto the tower. Night Witch is onto the tower. Oh, we're so close to winning. We are so close to winning. We are so close to winning. Please kill this bowler. Please kill this bowler. Use Barbarians right now. We only need two poison spells to pick up the win, guys. Two poison spells is all that remains between us and victory. Oh, man. How do we want to do this? Let's do Night Witch here. Let's do Poison here. Is he going to play a Valkyrie and all those Barbarians? If he did, he would be a madman. But let's just poison down that tower. One more push. Or one more holding on to. Oh, Bat's going to lock on. Tower's so low. 22 HP. 22 HP is all that remains right now. Pekka's going to go down. Here goes the Ice Wizard. Here goes the Archers. And if we can cycle to this this uh, poison without losing our lives, we will end up victorious. Let's let that wizard lock onto the P.E.K.K.A. And po poison spell is going to be locked onto you. That's how you win a game where you're completely countered. Switch it up to the other side of the map. When he played his bowler on the right, I smacked down with the left. I had the prince, the dark wit or the night witch and everything else. And that's going to be the end of the game. GG, well played against Racka Boys. 3-0 using our figurines inside of Clash Royale, guys. Check them out one more time. Let's go ahead and move this iPad out of the way. You guys probably don't want to play that deck since it isn't isn't one to play besides having fun with it. Check out all these figurines, guys. Check them out if you want. Link is in the description below if you want to win one if you're in the USA and Canada. And that is going to do it for this video. Until next time, I will see 2.5 million of you guys later. Peace out.